Okay, we'd like to welcome Brendan Todd into the interview room after six under par 64 and our current uh, leader, 36 hole mark at eight under par. Brendan, great playing out there today. If we can just get some general comments on your round. Thanks a lot. Um, very pleased with the round, obviously. Um, it's nice to finally put two under par rounds together before the cut. That's been a challenge for me this year. Uh, I was patient today. I uh, parred the first six holes and then um, hit a wedge close after driving at the fairway bunker on seven, the par five. The tee shot was a little frustrating, but the close wedge shot was huge. Um, you know, and then made a long putt for birdie on eight, and then just hit great shots in the back nine, just continuously setting up some close birdie tries. Okay, before we open it up to uh, questions, just sort of recap uh, your season for us up to this point. Yeah, it's my best season yet so far on the PGA Tour. Um, made all four cuts in the fall, and then finished six at the Humana. That was my first time in the final group on the Sunday, so that was fun. Good experience. Um, played another good weekend in dry, windy conditions in San Antonio, much like the conditions here. So I think uh, dry and windy probably suits my game. And then, um, yeah, excited to be in the last group on the weekend here. All right, great. We'll open it up to uh, questions. Pass the microphone around. Okay, let's go to Bill right up there on the front. So what got you going, and especially on the back nine, uh, you really tore it up on the back? You know, um, I think just those pars I saved on the front nine, and then making that long puffer birdie on eight gave me that nice confidence boost going to the back nine, thinking that uh, I was going to have a lot of opportunities to tear it up, especially after playing the back nine four under yesterday. I was able to turn with some uh, confidence there. Mike? Had you seen this coming? You, you talked about the process of building up and, and playing better this year. Uh, did, you, did you sense that you were going to have a good week this week? Did that sense what? Did you sense you were going to have a good week this week? I did, yeah. Um, I was an alternate last week for the players, so I was down in Jacksonville practicing. My caddy and I had an awesome practice on Thursday. Lots of good short game work. Um, and I've been hitting the ball solid for about a year and a half now. So. You know, for me it was just about being patient and waiting for the week to come when I, you know, get the pars up and down and make some birdies. Next question. Bill again. Uh, you tied for 17th here last year. Okay. It, are you learning more about this course and, and if so, what? Um, yeah, last year on the weekend it was really windy um, and I played a lot like today where I drove the ball. You know, pretty straight uh, in the right spots, and I uh, was able to you know hit some iron shots close in the wind. Um, I really think the more you play here, the more you realize you've got to play smart into the greens because the pins are always tucked in these sections where if you go at it and you miss the green, you're dead. So I think just uh, the more times I play here, the uh, more patient I get. Mike. So you played really well on the back nine. Paul Casey shot. 27 on the back nine today. Did he? Wow. Yeah. Is it? I mean, 27 is a great number anywhere. Can you even tie them getting close to that? No. I don't really see 27 out there on the back nine. It does have a couple wedges there. You get a wedge on 10 to 11. I think 16 is reachable for everybody but me. Um, so I don't really see how you should 27 there. Okay. Other questions? Just on. Going on from that, isn't the, the back nine harder than the front? It hasn't, I don't know. It hasn't played harder for me this week. Uh, obviously, it wasn't harder for Paul today. It, it could just be the the wind and the way they've set the pins up so far. I noticed, um, you know, they used the back pins on uh, one already. They've used the back pins already on three. So they could have just set the front up a little bit more difficult the first couple of days than they uh, will on the weekend. A few of the guys said yesterday that they thought the pins were a little tough. And did, did you sense that at all yesterday? And did you feel like they, they might have balanced it out today a little bit? Um, no. Yeah. I think the pins have been, I think every green has four sections, and three of the sections are difficult. Um, so I think you're going to have pretty difficult pins every day here. And I think that, uh, you know, like I said, 
yesterday had some tough pins and today some tough pins. I mean, back on 17 is a tough pin here, actually. Um, you know, I think back on 14 is pretty tough. Back left on 12 is pretty tough. So, I mean, I, I think the pins are pretty equal. Never had the lead on the PGA Tour after a round. Uh, talk a little bit about your mindset going into Saturday. Um, you know, obviously it's going to be a little bit different with the crowds and you know, a little bit of the pressure, but I'm excited to go out there and play the same way I've played the last two days where I'm, you know, just focusing on having a good routine, um, communicating with my caddy well, um, being committed to my reads on the greens and just seeing if the putts fall. Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay. I'm just curious, I, you know, aside from your great back nine and Paul Casey, it seems like the scores aren't, aren't <laughs> dreadfully low. I, what is it about this course every year that that makes par stand up so well? I think, you know, number one, it's a par 70. Right. Par 70s, if you look all the way down the PGA Tour, okay. we're much less likely to get to 10 under par with only two par fives uh, for the week. Um, number two, like I said, around the greens is nearly impossible sometimes. So it kind of keeps people in check from getting too aggressive and shooting really low numbers. But there were low numbers today. I mean, I shot 64, Paul had 64 or 5 probably. Ratif shot 65. Right? I mean, I saw nothing but 60s on the board when I looked up <laughs> through six holes and I'm even <coughs> far. So it definitely gave me some motivation to go out there and uh, you know, try and make some birdies. You, you just, felt, to I'm sorry. Sorry. just to follow up, is that would be your mindset going into the weekend too as far as like you're learning to play into the greens more cautiously, if you will? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, um, I'm putting well, so anytime I can get the ball in the green and regulation is good for me, I'm going to have a chance to either make birdie or an easy par. So I think that's going to be my number one goal in every hole. How can I get the ball onto the green in regulation? Okay. I just got to ask you, once you saw the all the uh, 60s, did you feel any kind of sense of urgency to, to, to go low this afternoon too? I felt urgency to capitalize on playing well. I feel like my game was good enough to play well this week, all four days. Um, and in the past, I've always had a hiccup round before the cut. So, you know, my goal was just, if the red numbers are out there, let's go do it. All right, great. Keep it going, Brendan. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. <laughs> Sir, you got to thank you. No, I didn't.